California, the makers of old gold cigarettes present the Comedy Theater. The only radio program that brings you every week the greatest stars in the greatest comedies. Tonight's play, RKO's A Girl, A Guy, and a Gob, starring George Murphy and Lucy Ubal. And here is the director of the Old Gold Comedy Theater, Mr. Harold Lloyd. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we on the Old Gold Comedy Theater make a habit of defying tradition. For example, in casting tonight's play, A Girl, A Guy, and a Gob, instead of doing the usual thing and getting the stars of the film version, we're trying a new approach. We've got the stars of the film version. And uh, here they are, George Murphy and Lucille Ball. Good evening, and to continue this remarkable coincidence, the director of tonight's show was the original producer of the picture, Mr. Harold Lloyd. And to continue, George, you and I were signed to play the roles on the Old Gold Comedy Theater on Sunday, February 11th, and here we are. Amazing, Lucille. Astounding. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, Lucille, yeah. I hope that you get as big a kick out of playing the role of Dorothy Duncan tonight as you did the role you played in the forthcoming Metro Golden Mayor production, Without Love. How about you, George? Are you ready to play the role of Coffee Cup the Sailor? Oh, boy, am I. I've been wearing tight pants for two weeks. <laughs> How about you, Lucille? Harold, take it easy. <laughs> Heaven to help a sailor on a night like this. <laughs> well, let's get to work. Uh-oh, I forgot one thing. There's another guy in this picture. His name is Stephen Herrick of the firm of Martin and Herrick. He's taking his girl to a concert in Carnegie Hall where a famous pianist has drawn an enthusiastic audience. And wouldn't you know it, this is preposterous, Usher. This is my box. I'm terribly sorry, sir. The young lady and her party have the tickets. But I tell you, I lost my tickets. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Herrick has had this box for five years. Look, bud, look. It ain't very often I get a chance to hear a concert, see? So would you kind of be quiet and pipe down? You've already made me miss two arpeggios. This is ridiculous. Call the manager. What do you want to call the manager for? He's heard the music before. He has? How remarkable. Young lady, where did you get these tickets? We bought them, of course. Didn't we, Coffee Cup? Sure, sure, we bought them, like she said. So now, will you please go away? I will not go away. Oh, you won't. Coffee Cup, hand me my bag. Oh, now, wait a minute, Dottie. Wait a minute. Don't get hasty. I said, give me my bag. Okay, okay, honey. Here you are. Thank you. Mister, you asked for this. Oh! Oh, my head. Gee, without a bomb sight. Really? Such common people. Stephen, we're going to see the manager. Who do they think they are? Well, I don't know for sure, Dottie, but look, uh, maybe maybe I ought to explain Paris something to you. Pair of stuffed shirts, see? that's what. Uh, Coffee cup, hmm? you did buy these tickets, didn't you? Well, uh, not, not exactly. <gasps> you see, uh, a friend of mine came up and he gave them to me. Yeah, that was how it happened. A friend uh, gave them to me and... Coffee cup, even I don't believe that. Well, I don't either. If you want to know the truth... I found them in the street. Oh, coffee cup, no. Yes, I did. I I've never them. been so embarrassed in my life. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, that's okay with me. Oh, you make me. You want to know something, Donnie? For my dough, Count Basie's got it all with this guy, Josie E. Turby. It's not Josie, it's Jose. In Spanish, J is pronounced like H. Oh, well, let's go. Where to? Let's go to a ham session. I'm a hitter bug. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> coffee cup, bend your head down, dear. Oh, no, Donnie. Come on, come oh, on. Oh, do I have to? Yes. All right. Oh, hey, you must have got a new compact. Good morning, Mr. Herrick. Where's Miss Comstock? Please find Miss Comstock and tell her to come in. Yes, Mr. Herrick. All right, Miss Duncan, this is it. Now, be careful what you do and say. He's in a bad mood this morning, and he doesn't know he's getting a new secretary. All right, go on in. Take a letter, Miss Comstock. Uh, Mr. Harry, Miss Comstock. Shh, uh, I'm trying to come. Uh, you! Uh, hello, I'm Miss Duncan. 
Where's your bag? Or is that our new secret weapon? Oh, please, I, I'd, I'd like to explain about last night. I didn't... There's uh... nothing to explain. Well, but I'm afraid you got the wrong impression. Impression? It's... Does this lump on my head look like an impression? <laughs> what was in that handbag anyway, a rock? No, but it might have been a good idea. The incident's closed. Now, will you please get out? Where's Miss Comstock? Miss Comstock eloped. She can't do that to me. Want to bet? Will you get out? I'm going to get out. I wouldn't work for you if it was the last job on earth. I'd take a pail and mop and crawl on my hands and knees before I'd work for a, 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 a midget-minded stuffed shirt like you. Is that all you have to say? No, that's not all I have to say. I was in the wrong last night, but I didn't know it at the time. I gave Coffee Cup, he, he's my boyfriend, his real name is Claudius Cup, and that's why he changed it. I gave him the money to buy the tickets, and he lost the money on a horse. He was trying to get enough for us to have a honeymoon, you see, and, well, I, I didn't know he'd found yours, the tickets, I mean. I didn't find out until I was... All right, all right, Miss Duncan. You must have been vaccinated with a phonograph needle. <laughs> well, let's get on with this letter, shall we? To uh, Mr. Daniel Carter, Post State Waterway. Kidding, I'm telling you, it's beautiful, Eddie. Ah, oh, you're just saying that, Coffee Cup. No, honest, I'm not. That's a nuts, you know. That's the most beautiful one I ever saw in my whole life, except except maybe one I saw in Sydney, Australia. Yeah. Hey, what are you two gobs mooning about? Hey, hiya, Dot. You're late. I know. I had to take the one o'clock lunch hour. Who's your boyfriend? Him? Oh, that's Eddie. He's a friend of mine off the ship. Dot, look, I want you to see something. He's got the most beautiful tattoo you ever saw in your life. Oh. Two rose-colored battleships on a sea of azure green with a red sun setting behind them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right here. See it? Hey, this is in public. Oh, he's not bashful. Go ahead, show her. Take a look at that, huh? Ain't that a honey? Oh, boy. Dot, why can't I... The answer is no, coffee cup. Just one battleship? No. Maybe a light cruiser? No. <laughs> what about a rowboat? No. <laughs> All right, I'll settle for a pair of water rings. No tattoos. Oh, okay. That's what I was afraid of. Always taking the joy out of life. Okay, Eddie, show her how you can grow. How he can what? Grow. Eddie grows four inches right in front of you. Are you kidding? Go on, show her, Eddie. Here, stand over there against the wall like that. Yeah, oh. Like this? Yeah, that's right, this that's I right. Now, look, see. Dot, look, now. You see, he's only as high as that birdcage yeah. in the window. Yeah. Now, you keep your eye on him and watch him grow. Hey, what's the gag? Well, my friend here, he grows four inches. You kidding, bud? That's what I said. Yeah, what do you know, Phil? This guy claims his friend can grow four inches. Yeah, I'm about to bust a gallus laughing. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, take a look at this. He's already grown an inch. He was only as high as that birdcage when he started. Hey, that's right. He is growing. He must be at least an inch taller already. Sure, Excuse he's me, please. Right I... Say, what's all the crown? That sailor, his friend claims he can grow four inches. <laughs> four inches? Yeah. Why, that's ridiculous. I'll say it's no, ridiculous. No, it's not. He... Oh, Mr. Harry, hello. Hello, Miss Duncan. Oh, this is Coffee Cup. Coffee Cup, this is my boss, Mr. Harry. Hiya, hello. boss. And uh, this other sailor here is Eddie, my pal. Uh, how do you do? Hey, she do she. Go ahead. Go ahead and show him. Show him how you can grow four inches, Eddie. Now, come on, You Eddie. mean right in front of me? Smack dab. Just watch me. Now, watch. His heels are flat on the ground. There's nothing phony about this. He's already grown two inches. Yeah, it's a fake. Oh, uh, what do you mean it's a fake? He was only as tall as a birdcage when he started. He's two inches taller now. And five bucks says it's as tall as he gets. Five bucks, is it, yeah. huh? Coffee cup. Oh, my toes in my other pants. If I only had my other pants oh, on. Oh, Mr. Herrick, I hate to do this, but would you let me have five dollars, please? Yeah. Five dollars? Yeah. Why? Oh, yes, gladly. Okay, you. Our money's up. Where's yours? You're holding stakes, Mr. Herrick. Yeah, yeah, five smackers. You sure, you sure, you sure you can do it, Eddie? Remember that time in Shanghai? Four and a half, ain't you? Yeah, but you were drunk that night. Where's the mark? Right here. That's right, mark it. Yeah, yeah you got a pencil it. or something, Mr. Harry? Oh, yes, yes I right. have. Okay, uh, brother, you hold it right here and mark the spot. Well, I... All right, uh, but... Atta boy, Eddie, all right, now turn it all on. Right, you got the mark. On. Come on, Eddie boy. He's up an inch. Uh, he'll never inch. make it. Go yeah, not less the dude with a pen. Come on, an inch more, Eddie. <laughs> Come on, kid, a quarter of an inch. Uh, Atta boy, you're making it. Yay! Yeah. Hey, 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 you let that pencil slip. I give you my word. Hey, but tell me what my dough. Oh, a welcher, eh? keep off my feet. Hey, that's a pretty big order, Charlie, with feet like them. Oh, is that so? Yes, and if you don't like it, what are you going to do about it? Hey, be careful, you break that window. Watch out, Mr. Harry, that guy. What? Oh, why, you big lug hitting the defenseless man. You just wait, I'll show you. Yeah. Hey, Dot, Dot, where's the boss? Right here, that big lug knocked him out. And who knocked out the big lug? I did, I put a rock in my purse. Oh, honey, you think of everything, don't you? Act 
two coming up in just 60 seconds. Meanwhile, here's Bob Williams, who says... When you're waiting for a table in a restaurant and folks just linger and linger over their coffee as if they're staging a sit-down strike, don't pull the chairs from under them. Say to yourself... Why be irritated? Light an old gold. No question about it. There's a heap of comfort and enjoyment in a fine cigarette. But only if it isn't harsh or dry. And so, old golds, fine tobaccos, are conditioned with a special moisture-protecting agency we call apple honey, made from the juice of fresh apples. This actually helps prevent cigarette dryness. And in addition, Old Gold's unique blend of many great tobaccos is enriched with rare imported Latakia tobacco, adding extra flavor to your smoking pleasure. You want all that in a cigarette. Extra flavor, extra pleasure, plus extra special protection against cigarette dryness. And that's what you get in Old Gold. So try a pack soon as you can. And remember, when the gremlins gang up on you, why be irritated? Light on Old Gold. <laughs> And now back to Harold Lloyd and the second act of tonight's Old Gold Comedy Theater presentation, A Girl, A Guy, and a Gob, starring George Murphy and Lucille Ball. All right, Mr. Lloyd. As Stephen Herrick found out, almost anything can happen when a guy gets mixed with a gal and a gob, especially when the gal is dot and the gob is coffee cup. Anyway, Stephen Herrick was knocked out cold in a street riot, caused by the fact that some mysterious bystander didn't believe that Coffee Cup's friend Eddie could grow four inches. Now, Coffee Cup and Dot have taken Stephen home to Dot's house and deposited him on the sofa with a sleeping powder to calm his nerves. It is some hours later, and the Duncan household is a scene of feverish activity. Well, it won't be long now. The doctor says Mrs. Leibowitz is doing fine. The baby will be here any minute now. Oh, Mr. Herrick, you're looking better. Hi, Mr. Herrick. Hi, Mr. Herrick. Well, I don't think I'm... You wasn't feeling so good when Coffee Cup carried you in. I say you better keep that blanket over you. Ma gets around the men in your pants. Oh, hmm, 5.30. Time for the lone stranger. Oh, get along there with you, boy. Get after him. After him, boy. Get it on there. I beg your pardon, Mrs. Duncan. The what? My trousers. I was... Ah, oh, you don't have to beg my pardon for your pants. Coffee cup told me how they got torn. But would you get them for me and tell me... Oh, what... Mrs. Leibowitz up there having a baby, and you worry me about your pants. Excuse me. Hey, how are you? How you feeling, boss? All right, but I... Oh, hello, Coffee Cup. Oh, gee, boss, you were swelling that mix-up out there. Great, magnificent, but you got to learn to keep your left hand high right up in front of you. Would you, you mind... Pipe down. Here comes the most exciting part. Here comes the most exciting part. Steal their cattle, will you? Take that! And there! And there! Ah, I told you he got him. I knew he would. Take that! <laughs> Two can play at that game, Dip Warner. <laughs> oh, Pop, you got me. You got me dead to rights, Pop. I'm shot. You better hit the bus, boss. Besides, Pop, when he gets mad, if he shoot, he shoot you and you don't fall. You like cigars? You like cigars, Mr. Herrick? Why, yes, you I... You got any? Yes, in my... I know uh, your coat. They don't get up. I'll go get... I'll get see, I'll go get them myself. Why does he talk so loud, Coffee? He cup? used to work in a boiler factory. Got two bits, boss? Why, my pants are... Okay, never mind. You owe the pot two bits. Here, take a piece of paper out of the hat. Yes, but I... Here, let me see what you draw. Six and a half pounds? Oh, not a chance. There ain't been a Leibowitz yet under eight pounds. Coffee cup, coffee cup. Get up there to the Leibowitzes and look after little Izzy. He just bit the doctor on the leg. What do you want me to do, bite Izzy? <laughs> and water, get lots of water, coffee cup. Okay, Mom, I'll handle it. My pants. Your pants? Your pants, your pants. Here you are. I got you. Uh, no, you didn't, Daddy. I got you. Hiya, Bob. Hello, Ma. Where's Coffee Cup? Hey, I drew nine pounds. Did I win the pool, Mom? The doctor's up there now, Dottie. Here, give me Mr. Harry's pats, Pop. <coughs> Who patched these? I did. Not bad, is it? Not bad, is it, Mr. Mm, no. Oh, I'm sorry about the pants, Mr. Herrick, but all Pa could find for a patch was a flower bag. All you can read, though, is eventually. Why not now? <laughs> Put them on and I'll set the table. <laughs> uh, that is, uh... We'll set the table. Well, come on, Pa. We'll all set the table. You like corned beef and cabbage, Mr. Herrick? Mm, yes, but really, I have to run. I, I had an engagement. And... I know. Your fiancé, Miss Grange, called. Oh, you didn't tell her that I... No, I simply said you'd be out of the office all afternoon. Listen. It... Yeah, it's another new Leibowitz. Long live Leibowitz number nine. Hey, Daddy, it's here. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, Montgomery Leibowitz! Happy birthday to you! Hey, who won the raffle? Who threw six and a 
half pound. Well, uh, I did. Hey, what do you know? The boss hey! won it. You know, I think after dinner we all ought to go out and paint the town red. What do you say, boys? Well, I had another engagement. Oh, Ducker, come on, boss. Say you'll go. Well, okay. For a little while. Okay, what a day. Sorry I'm so late getting back from lunch, Mr. Herrick. Well, that's all right. Oh, I got a pretty good excuse, so look. Why, why, it's an engagement ring. Let me see it. Yeah. On a clear, sunny day, if you're standing in the right spot, there's a sparkle. <laughs> Congratulations. It's very lovely. Well, you, you didn't have to say that. It's the sentiment it stands for. <laughs> you and Coffee Cup have started with a swell foundation. Mm-hmm. And this is the cornerstone. By the way, why do they call him Coffee Cup? He doesn't look like a mug to me. <laughs> Haven't you ever noticed his ears? <laughs> well, ears or not. <laughs> ears or not, Coffee Cup certainly is a lucky guy. Well, you sure had better be lucky tonight. Oh? You're getting married tonight? No, tonight he's wrestling with a man. <laughs> With a man? <laughs> yeah. They, uh, they don't allow women wrestlers at the arena. The arena? Yeah. Coffee Cup has an important match there tonight. If he wins, we can get married before his leave is over. You know, Dot? Hmm? I shouldn't say this, but I could almost hope that Coffee Cup loses tonight. Well, so could I. Uh... What am I saying? Coffee cups just gotta win. Hey, coffee nice cup. Chaplain. What do you want to ask Herrick to be the best man for? Huh? Don't you know he's in love with her too? Hey, what are you trying to cook up? Where do you get that stuff? Well, I didn't say she fell for him. She's marrying you, ain't she? Well, sure. He can't help it if he's stuck on her, I well, suppose. Besides, you wouldn't want to marry a dame no one else would have, would you? Well, Miss no. Duncan! Miss Duncan! Is Miss Duncan here? Here I am. I'm Miss Duncan. Oh, well, I'm Mr. Higginbotham, the star photographer here. Yeah, it's the regular service of the chap, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'd all stand just a little closer together. Huh? Oh, oh just a minute. Uh, a little to the left, please, and join hands. Well, I'm, but I'm not the groom. You have the... Uh, this is no time for kidding, young fellow. I can tell by the look in your eye. Well, wait a minute there, Charlie. You better take a look at my eyes, then. You mean you're the groom? Why, sure. In the flesh, exactly as advertised. Well, what do you know about that? I'd have bet my last flash bulb hey, that you wait a fun. minute. Coffee cup. If this ain't pepped up, we'll have to shove off without kissing the bride. You missed the best part of the wedding. Say, how about kissing her now? Uh, then if we right. have to run out on you, why, you that's an idea. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take it easy, oh, fella. Look yeah. at Dot. You wouldn't mind if the fellas off the ship, you know, if they kissed you before the wedding because they're kind of late. You wouldn't mind, would you, Don? Oh. Of course not, Coffee Cup. It's okay, all right with me. Okay, okay, mates, line up there. Jim, you're first. Yeah. And you, Hal. Tom. <laughs> hey, Lee, take it easy there. Take it easy. Look out there. Louis, Mac. Okay, boss, now it's your turn. Short one, boss. You next. Well, come on, make it unanimous, boss. All right. All right. I don't have to be back on board ship. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, he's bashful. Oh, oh, look, he's bashful. Uh, he's going to do that. Come on, grab him. I got her. <laughs> Come on, kiss her. No, no, let me go, please. What's, what's the matter? matter? Did we do she was laughing. What's the matter with... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Girls are kind of funny, fellas. I don't quite know what's the matter myself. You know, sir, it was very funny. Really funny. Me mistaking you for the groom, wasn't it? I'd have sworn you were the man. Yes. Very funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me for a minute, will you, fellas? I, uh, I guess I better go up and talk to Dot for a second. Yeah, I, I, I better. Okay, yeah. but hurry. Yeah, we gotta go. I leaves up at midnight. Hey. <laughs> hey, Spindle Shanks. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hold it. What's the matter? What's the matter, chum? Your oh. mascara's all down on your chin. <laughs> what will he think of me? Yep. <laughs> oh, you mean, uh, you mean Stephen Herrick? <laughs> oh, if that's all that's bothering you. If that's all. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. I get oh, it. I'm, I'm sorry, Coffee Cup. Oh, no, that's all right. It's all right. Here, blow hard. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you can do better than that. I don't know what came over me. Well, don't try to remind yourself. You know, you wouldn't believe it, but I blew up once, too. Tonight I joined the Navy. 
I was just about in, and then all of a sudden I boil up, and I'm not sure about it, and I don't know whether I want in or I don't want in, or, you know, it couldn't be like that with you, could it, Spinner Shanks? Coffee cup, what, what are you driving well, at? Well, I don't know. First, the guys were all talking, and this photographer fella run in, and I just didn't think, you know, I mean, about the way you feel about Mr. Herrick. Stephen Herrick? <laughs> Gee, I'm awful dumb sometimes. Oh, coffee cup. I wouldn't have you one bit different from the way you are. Wouldn't you? No. Thanks, Brenda Shanks. That goes for me, too. Look, honey, I'll, uh, I'll wait for you outside, huh? You fix All right. it. I'll be right out. As soon as I fix my face. How is she? What's the matter, Coffee Cup? Yeah, what's oh, it all about? Take it easy. Yes, take what was easy. the matter, Coffee Cup? She's all right. She's all right. She just fell a little bad on account of what you might think, Mr. What? Harry. Could I think, other than that she's fine and sweet and wonderful? Yeah, I know, I know. Look, will you do something for me? Would you go in and tell her that? If it was the other way around, I'd do it for you. I, uh, I just got a sneaking hunch that that'll make everything all right. Well, uh, okay. Hey, uh, Eddie. Eddie, where's Dot's mother? Inside the chapel, waiting. Well, look, will you go in and tell her, uh, yeah. say that, uh, say I went to get some cigarettes. Oh, I got cigarettes. Yeah, I got some, too. Here's sure. a pack. Yeah, I got a pack, Never too. Mind. Well, look, I want to get some of my own. Just tell her that. While we're waiting for Act Three, here's Bob Williams with a special word for women. Of course, the men can listen, too, if they wish. Say, gals, when he says that he was just looking to see if her figure was as good as yours, don't go home to mother. After all... Why be irritated? Light an old gold. Yes, smokers, you can figure on real enjoyment in the swell extra flavor of an old gold, plus its special protection against cigarette dryness. Listen, old gold's grand blend of fine tobaccos with its touch of rare, extra-fragrant Latakia tobacco is specially conditioned with apple honey to help preserve the natural moisture, to help prevent cigarette dryness. So for a better, keener, zestier smoke, light an old gold. And friends, please remember, even though we're producing all the cigarettes possible without sacrificing any of old gold's quality, the men and women in our armed forces get first consideration. But we're doing our utmost to assure fair distribution of all remaining old golds. So if you must be content with substitute brands today, be content to know that tomorrow, if you ask, your dealer may have old goals. Now back to tonight's old gold comedy theater presentation, A Gal, A Guy, and the Gob, starring George Murphy and Lucille Ball. All right, Mr. Lloyd. Well, the wedding does seem to be a bit different. The bride is there, the best man is there, but the groom has taken a powder on the pretext of trying to get some cigarettes. Now, how ridiculous. Everyone knows it's easy to get cigarettes. But right now, Dot and the best man are together. Dot is speaking. Stephen, I, I wonder why it is sometimes when you're the happiest, you cry, and <laughs> when you're the saddest, you laugh. It's explained somewhere. It used to get me, but not lately. Not since I've been riding around on a pink cloud with you and coffee cup. Hey, where is Coffee Cup, Eddie? Well, that's what I'd like to know. He said he was going for cigarettes. I have cigarettes. Yeah, I got cigarettes. We all got cigarettes. Hey, wait a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, but Stephen... Uh... Coffee Cup! Wait! Coffee Cup! Cab! Cab! Cabby, follow that sailor on the motorcycle. Yes, sir. Did you see me miss the truck, boss? And ruined the front of this store. Oh, well. Come on, now. I'm going to take you back if I have to take you unconscious. You know, boss, you're a swell guy, and I'm very fond of you, and I hate to do this, but... Oh! I'm sorry. Hey, driver, come yes, here. Sir. Give me a lift, will you? Help right. me get him into the cab. No. Take it easy. Now, don't bump his head. Easy does it. There you are. Now, back to the chapel. Okay, boss. Oh, 
Okay, driver, here, help me out with it. Here we go. Here you go. Take it easy now. Here, oh, help me prop him up against the door on the porch here. That's yeah. right. You got a pencil with you? Uh, what for? Well, I want to write a little note on his shirt front. You sure pack a mean left, sailor. Oh, thanks. There. There you are. I guess that does it. Uh -huh. Come on, let's get going. Okay. Okay, buddy. Blow your horn and blow it loud. And now take me to the Navy Yard and step on it. Why, it's Stephen. What happened? Look. They left a sheet of directions with him. What does it say? It says, Dot, this guy loves you, and I know now you love him. It's a good thing I found out before it was too late. See you next time I'm on leave. Coffee cup. P.S. The wedding's all paid for. Why don't you use it? And you and him get married. Oh, coffee cup. Coffee cup. Coffee cup. Hey, coffee cup. Wait for me. Oh, hiya. Hi, Eddie. Say, uh, what, uh, what happened back there, Eddie? Well, she did like you told her and married him. Uh-huh. Hey, where was you going in such a hurry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. Oh, I nearly forgot. Look, Eddie, on the level. Which do you think would look better? I mean, on a man of my color. A blue battleship on a vermilion background or a crimson battleship with a royal purple sky and green waves all around. Now, this is Harold Lloyd. George Murphy. Lucille Ball. Saying good night to you for old gold. And I hope that you'll be with us again next Sunday when the Old Gold Comedy Theater presents Jack Haley, Jimmy Gleason, and Eve Arden in The Milky Way. See you then. A Girl, a Guy, and a Gob was presented through the courtesy of RKO Studios, producers of Experiment Perilous. George Murphy appeared through the courtesy of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, producers of the Technicolor picture, National Velvet. And now until next Sunday night, don't let little annoyances get you down. Why be irritated? Buy it an old gold. Its tobaccos are conditioned with apple honey to help guard against cigarette dryness and gives you more smoking pleasure. And now this is Bob Williams saying good night for old gold. Broadcasting Company.